For many years, fish farming in Jamaica has been concentrated primarily on the south central plains of the island in the parishes of Clarendon and St. Catherine where the soil type and water are considered suitable. Now, Albert Lee, one of Hanover's most successful farmers, is carrying the town of Lucy and the parish forward into the aquaculture industry. Mr. Lee's investment is helping to positively change the profile of the community of Kew in Lucy, where he has created his fish farm on a section of his property he has named Wild West JA. Mr. Lee, who specializes in livestock farming, began raising tilapia for the first time in 2021 on his farm on a section of the Kew community in Lucy, which adjoins the Lucy East River, which is his key water source. Kew, which was named after Kew Gardens in London, is a lush, beautiful place, blessed with fruit trees and all the various medicinal herbs Jamaica is known for. Training in fisheries fire? No, it's just I'm a layman to fish. Right. But I'm not all that advanced where fish is concerned. So, how was but fisheries department involved? Were they involved in setting up well, so you know I'm a, a young man from fisheries yeah. by the name of Ian. And he was so inspirational. How did he this, by the way? Well, the water, when the water level comes in India up here, it will be about 70 feet. Okay, but the deep is... No, no, here it is now, it's about, maybe about 5 feet. Okay, but the high, the, the deep is, it, it comes, is um, 7 feet? Yes, I won't allow it to go over 7 feet. Maybe okay. If we have plenty of rain, then the water can come up further. You know? Mr. Lee, who is also a former parish councillor for the Riverside Division, is also an esteemed electrician in Hanover. I am Albert Lee and I am a farmer. I also have training in electrical technology, but I specialize in farming. Oh. You now, I grew up with my father as a farmer and I gravitated to farming even though I went out and had a skill. I still remember farming. Rearing fish was a dream. It was one of my dreams. My father used to grow cattle and grow crops. But right now, I am not a, a, so much a crop farmer, I'm more in cattle and fish. I went to Hanover Secondary in the early days. Learned electrical installation, leave, and went to Kellenworth. We have further studies in, in electrical technology. I did my apprenticeship in the sugar company in Westmoreland back in the days, you know. And then I moved on, I went to VTDI for a period of time, never finished the course there. You know? Now, I believe agriculture is the future. So I come back to the farm because having a, a degree in electrical technology I still don't see where I'm going that way you know, because I, I want to gravitate, I more gravitate in farming. Q is a former sugar estate where rum was distilled at least between 1764 and 1787. From the flatlands at Q, there is a spectacular view of the hills to the south. Soft Caribbean breezes, which blow quite often, makes it a beautiful place to chill and absorb nature at its finest. According to Jamaica Promotions Corporation Jampro, which is Jamaica's trade promotion agency, minor fish farming activities occurs in other parishes such as St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland in the south 
and the St. Mary and the Portland in the Northeast and the Trelawney in the North. Tilapia farming has been described as a major business opportunity for local investors due to a spike in global demand coupled with growing consumption trends in the domestic market for the fish. As for the history of tilapia, the Nile tilapia was one of the first species cultured. Illustrations from Egyptian tombs suggest that Nile tilapia were cultured more than 3,000 years ago, according to historians. You're going to put them back in the water? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's my name dead? Is a quick name dead? No, they are not dead. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. So the one that want to move, why do they not move? What am I pretend? Maybe just pretend. I don't know what I'm going to do. I Them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are nice quality fish. Yeah, these are four months old. How oh, you know how old they are? Yes, um, oh, because you're putting them um, four yeah, months ago. Time, time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. We have three, three of those. Three of those supposed to be in um, like a pound and a half or so. It all depends on the size of the pan. You have to start the pan to the... You can eat fish maybe a, a, a square foot. You know? But then they breed up? After a while, after maybe six months. Harvest in period start, you know? Okay. When I went to Hanover Secondary, I wanted to do agriculture. But the school was a shift system. And at the time, agriculture was on the morning shift, and a lot of students, that area was filled. Because nobody wanted to do evening shift. So my second choice was electrical installation. So that's where I end up. I, I passed grade 9 achievement in the days in the I did the process. Because my mother didn't think, I believe she was looking further than I was thinking. Because I was only have two years at Rossi's at the time. So she told me it would be best for me to go to Hanover Secondary where I could learn a skill. So that was where I ended up. Going to another secondary, learning electrical installation in the early years. Then I left another secondary and I went to Kelvin, youth camp at the time. And it worked yeah. out all the best for you, the best, best decision. Because now I have a degree in electrical technology. I'm a licensed electrician. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. But um, tell us some of the pro big projects that you've worked on as an electrician. Well, as an electrician, you know, you know. Maybe more than three quarters of the Palladium Hotel, the Grand Palladium. I had grand trumpet that a portion of that work. And I did I have done a lot of jobs right across Hanover, Westmoreland, St. James, Trelawney. Plenty of electrical works. In fact, I am one of the electricians who assist the, the unlicensed electrician in getting their jobs certified. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now 
But at one point you were the only electrician in Hano in Hanover. Was, at one time, at one point, I was the only licensed electrician in in Hanover. Okay. Uh, outside and of Hanover, you have a lot, but at one point, I was the only one active around here. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought a lot of I youth in in electrical field. You know? Some working with GPS now, and some is on their own practicing the same trade. As for the cooking of tilapia, tilapia fish can be baked, sauteed, stewed, braised, poached, broiled, or pan fried. It is also easy to substitute for many kinds of fish, especially red snapper. Tilapia is described by chefs as having a dense, firm texture and its mild flavor adapts to nearly any cooking tradition. Global sales of aquaculture tilapia were estimated at 5.7 billion US dollars in 2010, according to figures released by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. According to Jampro, Jamaicans consume more than 82,000 tons of fish annually, and more than 69 million is spent on fresh and frozen fish imports, a figure which can be significantly reduced with an increase in local tilapia production. There is also a high demand for fish in Jamaican households and in the local hotel industry, and a growing demand for tilapia in the United States, as well as in the wider global consumer markets, which makes the local market ripe for investment. The United States is the single largest export market for tilapia, which come mainly from China. According to Jampro, fish remains a leading consumer item in Jamaica but the market remains undersupplied by the local fishing industry. This scenario has led to heavy reliance on imports, underscored by the fact that seafood is the third largest imported food item in recent years by Jamaica. According to the agency, the importance of fish consumption in the average Jamaican diet the prevalence of high world prices for food items and the high proportion of fish imports in domestic supplies pose right now a food security problem to Jamaica. Aquaculture provides the best opportunity for Jamaica to increase the availability of fish for domestic consumption and export, according to Jampro. While Jamaica has not contributed significantly to the global tilapia trade, tilapia farming is an activity that reached its peak in 2006 with production in excess of 7,500 tons, a good proportion of which was intended for exports. Jamaica was a major producer of tilapia in the 1980s and 1990s when there were about 50 farms with sizes ranging from 2 to 2,000 acres of ponds. Currently, there are about 1,500 acres being used for the farming of tilapia. The technology for freshwater fish production has improved and farming cycles can be as short as 120 days according to Jampro. So tell us how you got to get this farm up and running. You spoke of the involvement of fisheries, division and so forth. So tell okay, alright. Um, rearing fish in fact agriculture and all was my dream from the beginning because I was growing up on a farm with cattle and pigs and things like those. Up in Dias? No, Where? in Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I had an interest right. in farming from childhood. I met a young man from fisheries department once and I was telling him my intention. Okay. And he told me that he would come and visit the area and see if it was ideal for us. No, he, he came by and after he came by we, we walked up the property and he found out the areas where it would be ideal to really fish. So with his 
amount of knowledge he assisted me during the whole inception, making the ponds and things like those. So how you dug the ponds? You got like tractors and you dug out? Or? Yes, we, we get um, bulldozer and excavator to remove the soil and make the ponds. No, I, I never have any much knowledge in, in fisheries, but in, in the whole fishing thing. But as I, I told you earlier uh, about this young man, Kino, from the fisheries department, he played an a integral role in helping me to, to get this on stream. Now, I have to give him all the, the, the necessary thanks for the knowledge he has embarked to me. I, I started about a year and a half now. I have already harvested the first crop, which wasn't all that much because, I, I, you know, as a beginner, but I happened to harvest about maybe about 4,000 pounds of fish. Okay. It, was, it wasn't all that bad. Tell me something. Where you got the fish? You got them from fisheries. I got the the, 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 the fingerlings. Right. The, the, the fried <laughs> from fisheries. Very small. Right. From fisheries. No. Um, this is the second batch that I have now. And these are looking much better than the first oh. set because I, I know. Yes, I, <laughs> I have more knowledge about no one. I believe I can be successful with 